everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about the most essential tools that you need for RVing. Yes, RVs constantly need repair and maintenance, and you can save a lot of money if you learned how to do a lot of the projects around the RV yourself. Now, I made a video a while back about the most basic RV toolkit that I could recommend. So let's go back and take a look at some of those tools. And then we're going to add to that list considerably in this video today. So in that video, I mentioned number one, having a cordless drill driver. You're going to need that a lot around an RV to tighten and loosen screws. And if you want to save arm motion, a cordless drill driver is really great. But number two on the list is a manual or hand drill driver because sometimes a cordless just doesn't fit in the area you want to work in. Number three is a claw hammer. Yes, it's great to have a claw hammer, not only for the hammer, but for the claw to be able to pull things up. Number four on the list is a utility knife. You're gonna use that a lot in working on an RV. I recommend having the one that has the blades that just clip off. It's a, it's a big time saver. Next on the list is a multi-tester. If you're going to diagnose any kind of electrical problems around an RV, well, a multi-tester is going to be pretty essential for you to have. So have it on hand and learn how to use it properly. Number six is Gorilla Tape. Boy, this is great because yes, it's not really a tool, but you're going to find it's very useful in situations where you need a temporary repair and you'll get to it later on. Well, Gorilla Tape can come in real handy for something like that. Number seven on that list was a tape measure. Oh yeah, you're gonna to need to measure things on projects around the RV. So have a good tape measure on hand. Number eight is an LED flashlight. Lots of dark places around RVs, so you're going to need a light. Number nine is a good ladder. I personally recommend an aluminum ladder because they're lighter for the size and uh, the weight that they can carry. And it's probably a good idea to have a folding ladder if you can. Number 10 on the list is a good socket and wrench set. I recommend having both SAE and metric tools. And honestly, a 3 8 size socket set works pretty well for most things around an RV. All right, so those were the most basic tools that I could recommend for you. Let's start adding to that list. Number one today is a full set of drill bits for your drill driver. Yes, using the uh, drill driver for screws is good, but you're going to need to drill some holes at times. So have a good set of drill bits on hand. Number two, have a full set of different kinds of pliers. Don't just rely on one kind. You probably are going to need things like a needle nose plier set, uh, channel locks, and so on. So have those on hand and ready to go. Number three, zip ties. Believe it or not, they come in so handy around an RV. They're kind of like Gorilla Tape in that many times they're used for temporary uh, projects that you're doing, a temporary fix or repair around the RV, but very often they actually can be used almost any way around the RV too. So a good set of zip ties in different lengths is good to have. Number four, electrical tape and connectors. Yes, the electrical system in an RV runs on wires and connectors, and sometimes those connectors go bad. So make sure you have something that you can work with to replace it. Along that line, number five is a good set of wire cutters and strippers. So when you need to cut a wire, then you have the right tool, but having the right stripper is good to strip that 
insulation off the end of the wire so that you can make a good connection. Number six on the list is an air compressor. Yes, a lot of RVers have this already for their tires, and that's good to have. But, you know, it's not a bad idea to think about maybe having a larger air compressor. That's what I do. It works for my tires, but I can also use it for using compressed air to clean up an area or to run air tools as well. Number seven on this list is a heat gun, and you won't believe how often you're using a heat gun around an RV. This really comes in handy when you have something that has adhesive behind it and you need to get it up. You can heat it up usually and the adhesive loosens and you can then remove it. Number eight on the list is hydraulic jacks. RVs are heavy and so it's good to have uh, maybe one or two hydraulic jacks that can jack up a really heavy weight and allow you to work on things. Number nine is have a good hex key Allen wrench set. There's a lot of screws around RVs these days that have hex key heads. So make sure that you have that on hand. Again, I recommend both SAE and metric sets. They're cheap, they're small. You really just need to have them. Number 10, have a rubber mallet. Sometimes you're going to need a hammer, but you don't need a hard hammer. You need a softer one. And a rubber mallet comes in very handy for that. Number 11, have a good crescent wrench set. Now be careful here because a lot of folks actually rely on their crescent wrenches a little too much because they're adjustable, but they're not best to really use all the time. It's best to use the wrench that actually fits what you're working on. But if you don't have the right wrench, you're going to be happy that you've got a good crescent wrench to work with. And make sure you have different sizes. Number 12 on the list is a caulking gun and sealant that's required for seams and joint repairs around an RV. Yes, you never know when there's going to be a leak that needs to be repaired. And you need to have the sealant to do that. But you can't apply the sealant if you don't have the caulking gun. So have one handy. Number 13 goes along with that, and that's having a good roll of Eternabon. There's any number of things that can happen to your roof where it gets punctured or torn. Having a good roll of Eternabon to fix that quickly is going to be a lifesaver. Number 14, bungee cords. These are one of those things that is kind of like Gorilla Tape and zip ties. You can use them in so many situations. So always have a good set of different lengths of bungee cords. Number 15, a headlamp. Yes, we mentioned having an LED flashlight, but there are times when you need both hands free to work in a dark area. And when you do, a headlamp works great for that. Number 16, have a good set of vice grips. I can't tell you how many times I have used my vice grips to hold something in place. It's good to have regular vice grips, but I'll tell you what I use more often is the long nose version of the vice grip. So have those ready. Next on the list is number 17, a level. You don't need the big construction level around an RV. It takes up too much room, but have a nice smaller level because there's all kinds of projects around an RV that require you to keep it level. Number 18, have a torque wrench. This is really good around motorhomes because you're going to find bolts that need to be tightened to specifications. So have that handy. And finally, have a good tool bag. Now, with all the tools that I've gone over today, if you try to put all that in one bag, you're going to have one heavy bag to haul around. So you're probably going to need more than one tool bag. You also might use some tool roll-ups like I do to put your pliers and screwdrivers and things like that in and keep them organized. Whatever you have, make sure that it keeps things organized so that you can get your hands on it quickly. Well, I'm going to put links to all of those tools that I just mentioned 
to down in the description of both the podcast and the video. And that way you can look at them online and decide if that's something you want or not. But here's a point I want to leave you with. What you have to do here with tools is decide how much room you have in your RV for them and how much weight you can afford to give them. Tools are not usually very light. They can be heavy. So if you have a lot of them, it can be a lot of weight. So take a really good look before you go out and buy everything and decide how much room you have and how much weight you can spare. If you can't take along the whole list we talked about today, well then choose the ones you feel will be the most essential for what you could do around your RV. And with the right set of tools, well, you'll be ready for almost any repair or maintenance project on your RV. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.